Hey, welcome to this week of hot golf. We're in Wales, the land of beautiful coastlines, ancient castles, and where dragons play, where Sir King Arthur played with Merlin. And some of the best Lynx golf courses in the world are right here in Wales this week on Hot Golf. Let's tee it up, baby. Wales has hundreds and hundreds of miles of coastline, which are all perfect for Lynx-style golf. What is Lynx-style golf? Well, quite simply, it's the land between the ocean and the inland. Basically, beach with high sand dunes. So when James Braid and the likes of the other gentlemen came to Wales to build golf courses, this is the land they used and they put grass on top of the land. They didn't move any of it, but this is what they used. So imagine this sand with beautiful, beautiful emerald green grass on it. Lining up your shot with the wind coming off the ocean, the water in play, trying to read into the green to the left. rolls and rolls and rolls and that's what Lynx style golf is about. The continuous roll of the ball, the continuous fight with the elements, the water, the wind, the dragons of Wales. Hey we've hit a pitching wedge over to well the second course. Murray all these courses are so great at Celtic Manor I don't even know if you can call the Montgomery course a second golf course. It's, it's a great golf course, yeah? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a brilliant golf course. Obviously, it's one of three on the resort. We've got the 2010, the Montgomery, and, and the Raven Ray. Now, you like the Montgomery course. It's a, the front nine is a lot different from the back nine, right? Yeah, I mean, you're fine with the, with the uh, front nine. You've got a lot more views. Uh, and you've got the views over the 2010, which is spectacular, really. And it is based partly with the old Wentworth Hills, so you've got a little bit of, little bit of variation between the front nine and when you say the old Wentward Hills, that was the original course that was here? Yeah, that was one of the original courses. It was kind of based on a par three kind of course hit that we had here. And then they've expanded it now into an 18 hole golf course, which Montgomery kind of helped to design. Colin, to you. Colin, yeah. L no, wait a minute. Lord Montgomery, you. <laughs> Colin to me. Okay, well, a little bit more about the Montgomery course. It is a, uh, it's a par 69? Yeah, par 69 out there, and obviously it's got the three different tees for men, lady, ladies, and obviously we've got the advanced tees a little bit further back if you want to test yourself a bit more. Yeah, well, my camera guy will put him up on the <laughs> ladies' tees, and I'll, I'll test myself from the back. You can hit it. I'm sure you'll say it faster. Well, as long as I can get a few more pints in me, I'll be fine. He, they got Fosters here, which I'm surprised. Why are you guys drinking Australian beer in Wales? Well, they, they have got quite a beer. It's obviously, we have different kind of, everyone comes across here. We've got Europeans, and obviously, we have quite a lot of different. What are the Japanese styles? drinks? Sake. They uh, they have a beer and some different drinks they drink here. To be hey, all right, let's go out and take a look at the Montgomery course. We're on hole number three here on the Montgomery course now and it is absolutely beautiful. When you think of Wales, you think of rolling countryside, you think of sheep, you think of the magnificent coastline they have. But behind me on this beautiful hole is 609 yards to the flag, and it's very majestic. As we get out into the fairway of number three, we'll be able to see the 2010 course. So let's tee it up, absolutely beautiful. The vistas are absolutely gorgeous here on the Montgomery course. Now below us, you can see the 2010 Ryder Cup course. It's absolutely stunning. The likes of Podrick Harrington, Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson will grace these hallowed grounds very shortly and give it their best shot, their best test on this golf course. 
Hey, the Roman Empire stretched not only from down there in Italy, Ken, you know, they were in Sicily and Italy, they were running around all over this area, Wales also at one point. That's why this course is called the Roman Road. The Roman Road, actually. This is Ken, he's the starter here at the Roman Road course at Celtic Manor. Well, let's talk a little bit about the Roman Road golf course, Ken. What, what's this golf course like? What am I gonna see out there today? You're gonna see um, rain by the look of it. Uh, <laughs> and, but you're gonna see, uh, you're gonna see uh, some nice views. Um, plenty of countryside, uh, well looked after course. Very good. Lots of bunkers. Uh -oh. plenty, and I see, yeah, most probably a few bushes. <laughs> and, and, good man. <laughs> And a couple of bungers, I expect, so uh, we'll enjoy yourself. Good man, thank you, All Ken. right, Tank. All right, let's go see what the uh, Roman Road course has to offer. All right, let's tee it up on number one here on the Roman Road course. See if we find any Romans out there, or mulligans, or birdies. Little right, but I'll take it. Good way to start. <laughs> 